everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Anchua and I hope this video finds you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support and welcome back in this life after maturation video I have 12 fragrances that I have allowed to sit for at least a month in my collection some of them have sat for about three four months you know they have developed they have changed over time and I want to share the experience from the first time I got it to the current state some of them have really gotten better others were okay you know at the initial start I'm going to start off with the fragrances that I found quite challenging from the beginning which I almost gave up on I almost honestly you know decluttered or gave them away but something just told me some of these fragrances you know had potential I should just wait on them I should believe in the maturation period or process and I did and somehow some of them actually turned out right the first fragrance is going to be Massa from Latafa this I ordered for the 20 ml you know just I wanted to just test it out because I wasn't too sure and I had heard that it's it not like um guy made which I had a clone of you know already so I just wanted a 20 ml but when the order came they had given me 100 ml and who was i to complain i guess to get like that however my excitement quickly dwindled as soon as i sprayed this fragrance it smelled so plasticky very synthetic it has some mineral notes you know and that was very very harsh from the beginning as soon as i sprayed it you know i almost became nauseous you know because there was something about it that totally threw me off you know and i i would attribute that to the mineral notes I almost even wrote this one off from the first try, but I decided to give it other chances. So within the first week, every single day, I'll just spray a little on my hand, try and sniff it to see if it has improved. And still within two weeks, I still couldn't really stand this fragrance. So I decided to give it out. I didn't even find someone to give this fragrance to. I was just, you know, scanning through my friends as to who I should give this one to. And I couldn't really find someone to give this one to so i sort of indirectly had to keep this fragrance and surprisingly after about four months i think i got this one in december you know december or very early january and surprisingly after sitting for that amount of time this has actually turned out to be something quite special the scent profile itself is quite unique it is not like the everyday generic you know um fruity florals it is a fruity fragrance with the notes of mango but it has that mineral you know ozonic metallic touch which is quite different quite not the norm you know and i was struggling with that note you know i was really really struggling with that note but after four months in my collection this suddenly changed i just woke up one day decided to test this one and to my surprise it had changed to something very different the following day i began to you know actually pay attention to it give it more try and honestly currently this is a love for me because it has gotten so much creamier i get a mango in this one now the mango has become very creamy it is quite prominent i get a mango note and that is what separates the og guy made um deep i have in my collection which is celestial i have done the comparison they are quite similar but i think the mango notes you know separates this one however even with the presence of mango it is still not the most wearable fragrance you know it is still not the most mass appealing fragrance it is still not the simplest of fragrance it is quite unique you need to be in a certain sort of mood to be able to appreciate this one however if you ask me currently i will highly recommend massa by latafa the next fragrance here is going to be after effect extract the perfume by fa paris we normally talk about allowing fragrances to sit and i believe a lot of regular consumers just get the fragrances you know and um, are ready to just you know use them but i had to give this one more than a year to even appreciate the scent i'm still not the best fan of this fragrance it's supposed to be quite boozy with the cinnamon and saffron and i think what i found difficult to sort of you know accept or like about this fragrance was the saffron to me i found the quality of the saffron in this one as quite low and it made the whole thing come across as a little rough around the edges i know the prices that we pay for middle eastern fragrances we are not supposed to be expecting so much from it but on the other hand i was a little let down because honestly i didn't like the scent profile first of all then the quality of the fragrance was not you know um good to me from the jump start so i had to really let this one sit for a long time 
somehow i guess felt like if i allow it to sit for more than you know the usual number of months it might get better and honestly it has gotten so much better after one whole one and a half years you know which i think is like a little too much because if i'm ready to enjoy my fragrance i'm not going to wait for one and a half years to to do that so this one currently it's gotten so much better i get the boozy rum the cinnamon that sort of you know um cinnamon um spicy um tobacco you know leathery blend i get them you know but i think it was a little too much for me to appreciate from the jump start but if you ask me currently i would say it's not a bad fragrance at all i know um side effects is one of the um most popular initial fragrances i have a decant on that and i'm going to be doing the comparison and i can actually say it's quite close it's about 85 percent you know close to the original side effect so i appreciate this one but it took me over one and a half years to get to this stage and i don't think anybody would appreciate you know spending money now and waiting for one and a half years to be able to enjoy something nonetheless i currently enjoy this but not like the best of fragrances i have come across you know personally the next fragrance is going to be one that is quite new i think it is about three weeks in my collection or a little less than three weeks in my collection and i wanted to feature this um fragrance in this um list because um it's improved honestly it's improved so much better than when i initially got it like the first one two three days one week it has tremendously improved but i still do not like this fragrance think about kaid alpha sun make it much more floral with um a heavy presence of jasmine ylang ylang that is what this one you know gives me i find something quite smoky in this um it's like a smoky coconutty jasmine scent you know very heavy very heady to me it gives me headache i generally do not like the scent profile but i can honestly say that it has you know tremendously improved from the day you know i got it till now i still get something quite rough about it it has a creaminess to wait i don't like the coconut you know in this one um it comes across as too heavy too um it comes across as too heavy too heady it's like too indolic you know a bit too a bit too much you know when it comes to the jasmine and the the lang lang and the coconut combination there is something about it that throws me off i still would not necessarily recommend um the african drama um i would say sample this one you know i will not necessarily say you know it's blind by safe it is not to me at least to me it is, it is not it's supposed to be quite a simple fragrance like um santan lotion coconut vibes but i feel like it's missed something you know it's missed something to qualify as a a creamy coconutty santan lotion you know fragrance i know it is still going to improve because it's just three weeks so i know it's still going to improve but overall i don't really like the scent profile although it's, it has improved i still find it quite um difficult to enjoy i believe i will still feature it you know in one of these videos later but i i don't think it's a fragrance that is going to really wow me even after a year you know so that is going to be the like african drama by latafa shagaf ud tonka by swiss arabian wasn't a love at first lift to me i found it quite synthetic at the opening or at the beginning i remember the first day i got it i was super excited about it because everybody was you know raving, that, raving about it but it smelled so plasticky quite synthetic you know it took me about three days to be able to um get over the plastic or the synthetic aspect of the of the fragrance after the third fourth day then i began to sort of appreciate the fragrance because i love that nutty creamy almond you know vibe it has i get that um very beautiful orange blossom the vanilla you know the tonka itself i appreciate that but from the first day it wasn't like love at first day, honestly it took me about a week at least a week to be able to really thoroughly enjoy this fragrance i still get that sort of play doh vibes to it, coupled with that beautiful orange blossom to me i think what saved this fragrance for me was the orange blossom and the tonka itself the almond was sort of you know or the almond in this one is, is quite bitter it's not like a sweet um gourmand or realistic gourmand almond, almond scent it is quite a bitter one that is how it come across to me 
it is not like very simple it doesn't come across as a very simple everyday um fragrance to me it feels much more of a special occasion or more dressed up um fragrance to me i have had this fragrance for about four months now it has grown on me i didn't even have to struggle to love this you know sometimes we struggle to sort of love fragrances i didn't struggle to love it because i love the scent profile you know that hypnotic poison sort of um vibes I, I love it already so i sort of got the vibes in this one although it was quite synthetic quite um plasticky to me but it had potential from the very beginning and i was really banking on it to uh, improve and that is what it has done i got a very creamy nutty almondy vibe coupled with that tonka which is very prominent or the, the first thing that you smell as soon as you know you spray this one and that orange blossom you know i sort of believe the orange blossom sort of saved this fragrance or generally sort of ties this fragrance together for me coupled with the vanilla you know it's not like prominent in it but you still get it and some spices I don't find it as those sticky sweet fragrances at all there's some bitterness about this you know because of the almond and that is what makes this you know also quite special so it has improved the opening or the first few days were quite synthetic you know smelling to me but you need to just give it about a week or a week and a half and then it becomes you know smoother it blends in beautifully then you can really appreciate it and that has been my experience with Shagaf Utsonka the next fragrance on this list is going to be Kaid Alpha Sun by Latafa. This one has saffron, some pineapple, some cinnamon, you know, um, some woody cedar, and I think Akigala wood. It's quite woody at the base. I think in this fragrance, the saffron is also of low quality, and saffron normally ruins fragrance for me when they are of like low quality, you know. Um, they sort of have a way of messing the fragrances in some way if they are not done right you know if you don't use something of a little bit of quality it sort of ruins the whole thing and i think that is what i have experienced with a lot of these fragrances i was speaking about they i think all of them have saffron the ones i have spoken about you know before kaida for sun they all have saffron and i feel like it takes me much more time to sort of um get used to fragrances with saffron or appreciate fragrances with saffron and that was the case with kaida for sun it is beautiful honestly it is beautiful i think it is about six seven months in my collection initially it was quite rough for me i felt like it was a little too synthetic smelling it wasn't blended well you know it could have improved you know from the onset but after six or seven months in my collection this has really smoothing out you know it's one of those fragrances that need time you know um within the first week if you are in a rush to use it you might really be a little turned off by that you know it didn't really come across as very smooth from the beginning to me it's taken me about a month or two or it took me about a month or two to really really appreciate um kaida for some i liked it from the beginning but it came across as a little uh, masculine leaning to me but currently i feel like it has smoothing out to the point that i feel it is very super unisex to me it is one of my best pineapple scents for the price that you are paying um when you compare it to other high-end um pineapple fragrances you are getting something you know quite appreciable it wasn't really that bad to begin with but it's one of those fragrances that actually needs quite some time to be um, appreciated fully this next one didn't play any tricks on me from day one it was very smooth it was not as smooth as you know but there wasn't much to complain about flared the orientica you know by orientica it is supposed to be this very you know clean aquatic watery floral musky fragrance my only issue with this fragrance from the beginning was that it was a little too musky the max was a little too harsh you know it felt like you know those musky fragrances with the um, heavy doses of ambroxan that is how it felt to me you know but it wasn't anything i couldn't handle but after about four months in my collection it has smoothing out beautifully i don't get anything harsh from the max it has softened up it has blended in beautifully with the other notes and that is how i would simply describe the current state of flair Urantica. it wasn't even bad to begin with you know but after about four months it has you know improved tremendously you know however you need to be able to enjoy floral clean girl sort of you know musky fragrances to be able to appreciate um flair Urantica. the next fragrance i have here is going to be alive now by maison alhambra this fragrance honestly doesn't need or require any time to develop you know from the very first day i smelled it or i sprayed it it had nothing to improve you know there was nothing to improve upon it felt so smooth you know it, it, of course it's not like um 
the smoothest of fragrances you know but for a middle eastern fragrance you know my expectation was me it didn't give me anything harsh it didn't give me anything rough it didn't give me anything screechy it just came you know um in beautiful raspberry lychee woody sort of you know cedar um sun is it sandalwood or akikala wood you know those sort of woody touches at the base it is beautiful you know it has always been beautiful to me it is one of those fragrances that do not require any form of maceration you know it's like you can just grab it and go you know if you don't have any patience to wait for fragrances to mature and improve you can simply get this one it doesn't require any form of maceration it is like beautiful it is not screechy it is not scratchy it gives you a very delicious realistic raspberry lychee um woody at the base vanilla very beautiful girly girly and that is going to be alive now by uh Maison Alhambra. A couple of months ago, I got a fragrance I was super excited about it. I loved it. I couldn't wait to feature it in any of my life after maturation series. And the fragrance unfortunately got finished, you know. And I have replaced that fragrance. So now I can talk about it maturing or developing. And this fragrance is going to be Eternal Max. This one is also one of those fragrances that do not require any time to macerate. It is beautiful. From day one, you get something quite soft, quite... um lactonic a little gourmandish musky clean um fruity that is what you essentially get you know and for me it didn't need any time to macerate it's not one of those loud screechy fragrances at all it is quite gentle quite demure it comes across as quite soft and in most instances i've realized softer fragrances do well in the first few weeks you know uh, as, as compared to fragrances which are loud you know and obnoxious this one is quite soft you know but it still you know makes a present however i don't find much difference from when i initially got the fragrance to this day or till this day the only thing i can say is it's become much more intense much more thicker much more richer you know it's not like the quintessential thick resonance rich fragrances so it doesn't really require that however after about three months in my collection i can see that it has improved it's getting a little more stronger you know it's not like the strongest fragrance you know in my collection but it's gotten a little more stronger it lasts a little or slightly much more longer on me it now lasts an average of four hours if i sort of you know over spray and it's not a fragrance that you know i need to over spray because i just want to enjoy the scent bubble around me there wasn't much to improve upon this fragrance it was beautiful from day one and at its current state it has only improved in terms of performance in terms of um longevity intensity but it wasn't really rough to begin with so that is going to be eternal max by paris corner Opera Noir by Alhambra was a little rough to begin with, you know. I feel like the coffee here was not like of quality. The vanilla here was not of quality. I could really get that from the beginning. The first one week, two weeks, it wasn't like the best, you know. It's one of those fragrances that needs time, at least a month, you know, to be able to um, be appreciated so much better. It was not the best, you know, but I think I've had it for about three at least three months it has improved tremendously the vanilla has gotten so much better so much smoother so much um richer you know resonance and intense the coffee has become much more realistic the coffee initially smells a bit rough you know a bit um not blended well there was there was like something about it that felt not blended well but currently it smells so much better it has improved so much i've done a video um comparing this to the og um black opium you know if i'm not seeing it i'll link it in the description in that video i think i said it's about 95 or 90 percent similar and i can even say that it has improved and you know smells so much alike like um the original black opium it is not bad at all but i guess for like it's one of those fragrances i need to give it like maybe one or two months more to really really develop you know even at the current state after three months it's improved tremendously i'll give it to that but i still feel it has just a little more way to go just a little maybe a month or two the next fragrance on this list is going to be december vanilla by paris corner i mean this fragrance couldn't um do no wrong in my eyes you know from the very first day 
it smells very polarizing actually it is quite polarizing but when it comes to the quality of this fragrance i think they did a phenomenal job it doesn't come across as cheap smelling it doesn't come across as synthetic you know from the very first day i smelled this one it had it had the quality you know the quality was there i could get a creme brulee the leather the rose the sugar the patchouli every single note that this one has i could get it from day one it has not really changed that much you know it's one of those fragrances it hasn't changed the only thing is because it has vanilla you know and other um tonka rich resonance you know ambry sort of quality it's only improved you know it's only gotten so much thicker so much um resonance you know and that is the case for a lot of vanilla based fragrances they only get much more resonance and that is what um december vanilla has done the scent profile has not changed it's only gotten stronger so much more intense i get that intense patchouli that intense vanilla the rum i can only see this one getting stronger much more intense much more sweeter you know as time goes on so if you want to get something that is going to give you the oomph from day one i would say go for december vanilla it is only going to get so much better so much intense you know with time passing by the last fragrance i'm going to feature in this video is going to be casablanca by swiss arabian in as much as a lot of people describe casablanca as a very heavy vanilla with some caramel and apple scent i still find it a little polarizing you know i can understand people who feel um casablanca is a little polarizing because it is quite piercing all the notes in this one are quite piercing the vanilla is intense the caramel is intense the um apple you know is intense the granny smith apple is also intense Couple with that suede i can understand that it's like all the notes in this one are sort of competing with each other because they are all loud i feel like something you know should have been given the prominence or to, to shine however i feel like after five months in my collection it has improved honestly it has tremendously improved you know i think people who have egba by swiss arabian might sort of you know understand where i'm coming from that one is so much smoother and you get a prominent vanilla however this one feels a little harsh you know there's a little harshness about it even for about five months or after five months i still get that little harshness you know I have no idea if that will ever go away it is still a very beautiful granny smith apple caramel you know um scent i will give it to that on its own it is beautiful when you layer it it is beautiful the only thing i find quite off about this is the fact that the notes are you know all over your face every every single note is sort of you know fighting against each other to gain prominence or you know to stand out this fragrance is only getting stronger but i guess for like um there's something quite not too blended well about it you know and i still get it even after four or five months in my collection i still get that rough around the edges touch this one has you know so i mean it's still in my collection i'm not getting rid of it so if it changes or improves further i would um speak about it but for now although i still believe casablanca is still a very beautiful scent i guess feel there's something a little rough about it that is all i have for you today and i hope this video found you all please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate that thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye